Sequoia is really excited today because she is going to go visit another one of her best friends. Let's go. Let's go find her best friend. Okay. Well, we're here with one of Sequoia's best friends. Who is it, Sequoia? It's Squirmy the Wormy. Hello. I'm here with Wes Neutron, agricultural specialist for Blooming Heights Edible Garden. I'm so excited to see Wes and all my wormy friends. Hi, Wes. Hello, <clears throat> Squirmy Wormy. How are you today? I'm doing great. I can't wait to learn more about another kind of composting. So, Mr. Wes, why is vermicomposting or composting with worms so good to have in the classrooms and even in homes? All right, so this is our worm bin. This is where our worms live. And this is where we're doing composting with worms or vermicomposting, like you said. So when this is really good to have in a classroom in your home because when you have a little bit of food that somebody's not gonna eat, say like an apple core or um, like a peeling from a banana, instead of just throwing it in the garbage, you can throw it into the compost and let the worms eat it. Yay! If I were to put, here's a piece of a pear, if I were to put that in the garbage, it might stink. And also, it ends up filling up our landfills, and we don't need to be putting more garbage in our landfills. When in reality, we can just put this into our vermicompost. Wow, that looks great, Wes. And we'll let the worms eat it. Look at all my friends in there. And when the worms eat it, they actually turn all the food scraps into compost. So if I lift this up, you can see all this wonderful compost wow. that the worms have made out of the food. And we can use this compost to feed our houseplants or to put in the garden and grow more food. Yay! So, Mr. Wes, if I want to start a composting bin like this, why would I need to start one? How would I do that? I want one in my home. Well, a person could buy something like this, but they could be a little bit expensive. So it could be as simple as taking uh, a tote, a Rubbermaid tote or some sort of container, making sure that it has plenty of holes in the side and in the top so that the worms get some oxygen and then they can breathe. And you want to be able to add food, but also this is shredded paper grocery bags. You could use shredded newspaper, um, but you need something papery and dry to mix with the food um, to keep your worm compost bin from stinking. Oh. So mixing those things together, feeding the worms little by little, um, and just you get to watch them make all this wonderful compost. Squirmy Wormy, would you like to see some of the worms? I would love to! All right, Yay! I get to see some of my friends! I'm so excited! I get to see worms helping our planet! Yay! Let's look underneath the dirt here. Oh, I see some here. Let me pick some up. Oh. Wow! There's some worms. Here's our wonderful worms who do this hard work for us of eating our scraps and turning them into food for plants. Yay! We love to help you in helping our planet. Huh?